All right, so ran around, did some errands. I'm in my work shirt, getting ready to go into my business. But first, of course, we're gonna play Pokemon on the way, and I have all those, all those nine Ks. I did it again. I have all those ten Ks, all nine of them, ready to hatch. And I was doing some, you know, just normal evolutions uh, for XP. So I have the Lucky Egg running. Make sure you start the Lucky Egg early, especially on something like this. That way you don't forget about it. Like with your streaks, start it early, you know? Then you already have it running, you can't forget about it. Your early day streaks, not that big of a deal. When you, the seven days is really, if you're, if you're, you know, holding out those Lucky Eggs to maximize your experience, then do your evolutions right after your seven day streaks with a lucky egg running. That's gonna get you the most experience. Okay, but let's get into this. I'm excited for all these 10Ks. Last time it was bomb. Five Dratinis, two Larvitars, a Milk Tank, which is super rare, not that helpful, but super rare. And I think the last one was Gligar, which is okay. So hopefully we can beat that. I would like more Larvitars, but more importantly, Mareep is my buddy right now, so that's really what I'm looking to hatch here. Um, I wouldn't mind a Snorlax or a Lapras. That would be great too, um, but let's see. Let's see what we're gonna get. Okay, put your predictions. What are we gonna get in the comments? Go now. Okay, so just leave a comment. What do you think we're gonna hatch there? My last, last time, the first time I did this, one of my friends said nine pine cones. That would be the worst. The worst possible thing I could think of. Uh, all right, well, let's see what the first one is. Um, Larvitar Mareep. Dratini. I, I will always be happy with a Dratini hatch. Always be happy with a Dratini hatch. What's the second one going to be? Even if I got nine Dratinis, that would still be insane. I would still be happy with that. Larvitar. Awesome. Awesome. Larvitar. Always be happy with a Larvitar. One of my favorite Gen 2 Pokemon is Larvitar. And so that is really exciting. Dratini. It's one of my favorite first gen Pokemon. I do not like its evolutions though. I like Dratini and Dragonair much better than Dragonite. Hate me if you want. Egg number four, two Dratinis, one Larvitar, and a Chansey. Awesome, awesome. And if you guys can see my Go Plus here, your Go Plus will work 50 candies. Did you guys see that? 50 candies. That probably means, oh, Mareep, sick. Uh, 50 candies probably means that we have a second Chansey in here. Oh, this is going so well, so well. Snorlax, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. 33 candies off that Snorlax. This is so, so sick, guys. All right, what is the next one? Mantine. All right, that's probably my least favorite one to hatch. I do like catching them, though. I believe this is the last one. We had two Dratinis, two Larvitars, a Mareep, Snorlax, Chansey, Mantine, and I'm going to guess this is the second Chansey. Sudowoodo. So we got 50 candies off of that Chansey. Holy cow, unless I miscounted the eggs. I miscounted the eggs. Okay, last one, last one, again. Chansey, okay, so we got 25 and 25. That makes a lot more sense. But, oh, sick hatches, guys. Sick hatches, let's look. Um, let's look at the recents. So we got, oh, only one Larvitar. That's why I miscounted. Okay, so we got two Chanseys, two Dratinis, Mareep, Snorlax, Sudowoodo, Mantine. Sick. What an awesome hatch. What are the best things that you've hatched from, from eggs? Um, let me know. 
let me know in the comments. And uh, if I have time, I will check IVs. There's the Go Plus going off again. So get those items if you have the Go Plus. It's very helpful. Um, I will check IVs if I have time. Uh, I'm not certain that I do. Um, oh. And let's go ahead and start incubating something. And I don't know. I might just keep this up. Uh, hatching all these 10Ks. It's fun. Super fun. Yeah, nothing really. It takes a couple weeks to do it though. Oh, I almost forgot. Okay, so. Number one, I have been labeling my evolutions by name. And I have really liked that. Um, oh, Cubone. Where are they? And I have been labeling them by name. Oh, we're sorted by recent. Let's sort by name. I have been sorting my uh, evolutions by name. And that has made it really easy. Um, so you see all these E's here. And you'll notice that... Where is it? I have saved a couple E evolutions for you guys. Slow King. Believe it or not, just from all these seven day streaks, the, you know, collecting your seven day streaks, you get a lot of evolution items. A lot of them. So, Slow King here, which is a sweet one. I always liked Slow King. But I'm looking for a good moveset. Good moveset. Water Gun Blizzard is not the one I'm looking for, but it's okay. Uh, let's go for a Steelix here. And we might do... I have second one set there. I just have so much Onyx candy and extra. I know, I'm sorry for you guys who can't get certain special items, but I just have too many. So it's just a different kind of problem. Iron Tail and Crunch. No, I do not want to power him up. I am saving my Stardust. As you see, 1.2, almost, almost 1.25 million experience for the gym rework. Start saving that now, guys. Start saving now for the gym rework. It's coming soon, and you don't know what Pokemon are going to be good. Probably something's going to be good that you don't have good right now. So save it up. Save it up. All right, Steelix number two. Really great IVs on both of these. Uh, some text messages. Uh, Iron Tail Crunch again. Not ideal. So what a bunch of sick hatches there. So crazy. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. All right, guys, we might be talking about hatching eggs today and tips and strategies to do that. Um, but I have a jump bluff here, and that is not something I see very often. I don't know about you guys, but I've seen maybe three or four at most of these guys. And that, you know, any... Any evolution like this is super awesome. I love catching stuff like this. So there you go, jump bluff, pretty cool. What's up guys? So I was editing this video and uh, I just decided we need a little bit more content here. And I think what we need to talk about is tips and strategies for pulling this off for you hatching your own batch of nine 10k eggs um, maybe this is straightforward to some of you you do this you know all the time but maybe you're having a hard time thinking about what the best way to do it would be so I, I thought I would just share with you the way that I accomplish this goal okay so first things first though we got to hatch a 2k egg so let's take a look here All right, so what can we get out of this 2K egg? Starters is uh, the best. I love Geodude hatching right now. Golem 
is really good. It's one of the highest max CP Pokemon. And um, with the gym rework stuff that we're going to be talking about um, in a soon-to-be-coming video, uh, you definitely want those Geodude candies. So let's take a look here. I have started this process again, and basically what you want to do is, after you hatch all those eggs, go refill your eggs. Whatever eggs that you have, hatch them. Um, and then you're usually going to get about two... 10k eggs if you're f going from zero to nine eggs you're usually going to get about two if you get more than that consider yourself lucky uh, so the the next thing that you want to do is hatch all of the other eggs that you have here okay so now uh, I will be incubating this 2k and oh hold on I will be incubating this 2k and then I'm going to see what other egg I get from my Pokestops. And then if it's another 2K, I'll start the two 5Ks so that I can hatch that other 2K around the same time as the 5K. The 2 plus 2 is 4. And so that's, I mean, you can time it so that you hatch the two 5Ks and the other 2K at the same time. If you wait, you know, till 3 kilometers on the 5Ks. And then what you're going to do is eventually by repeating that process over and over again of just using your, incu using your infinite to grind through the 2Ks. Use your infinite to grind through the 2Ks. And then when you have a bunch of 5Ks, incubate them all at the same time. So then you can grind through all of your other eggs until your inventory is full. And you'll come to a spot where you have one or two spots left. Um, I'm getting pretty close there. I have four spots left that don't have tens in them yet. Um, but once you come to one or two, then you can just use your infinite to, to get through all of the rest of the eggs until you get up to the full amount of 10k eggs and what this allows you to do is save some money on incubators and also get through a bunch of eggs with your infinite so hopefully this process makes sense to you and is straightforward um, if you like the video hit the like button subscribe to the channel I have uh, I've been putting out a bunch of videos for you guys lately and I have a bunch more planned so subscribe click that subscribe button it should be down here the subscribe button in the lower right hand corner click that subscribe button so that you can get updates and see what the rest of the videos are and please share with um, your family and friends post it online uh, and let's you know spread the word about the channel let's let's try to get it uh, growing. Uh, thank you for your support and uh, check out my next video.